Today I'm going to go over the Lanicon SB400 flash unit. It's actually recently discontinued, however you can still find them online. Oddly enough, it looks like the price is going up on them. It was replaced by the SB300, but it looks like it's not quite as powerful as this unit. The main benefit of this flash is really its size, and it does have full TTL. It's lacking a few important features like high-speed sync, also called FP sync. Size-wise, it's pretty nice. So this is the SB800. See quite a big difference in size. It does have a head that rotates various degrees and it locks in. So that's a nice feature when you're shooting horizontal photos. You can bounce light off the ceiling. You can also buy third-party diffusers. This is a Stofen. Fits nicely on there. It does have AA batteries, just two, which is also good for portability. You don't have to load four batteries into there or carry four. Of course, you might want a few backups. It doesn't have quite as much longevity with battery life as the standard flash. It doesn't have any type of manual control. However, in some cameras, you can fully control it manually. Pretty simple flash. Main thing is portability. I had picked it up at a local shop because I wanted something small to take to a convention. The negative is that it's closer to the camera. So here is the SB400 on a Nikon D600. Size wise, you now it's not too big. One negative is that uh, between the lens and the flash there isn't that much distance. Pull out the 800 again. Let's see quite a difference in height. So you have to keep that in mind with the SP400 and similar units. As I mentioned before, you've got that bounce capability, which is nice. But if you're shooting like this, it's not going to work out. Uh, you can also, as I showed earlier, you can use the diffuser to help with that situation a little bit. So with the SP400, it does not have any control on the unit itself. However, in some cameras such as the D600, you can adjust power manually. Just go into the custom settings menu, bracketing flash, and it says optional flash. You got TTL and you have manual. With TTL, you can adjust the exposure compensation, but you can also go into manual. Then it gives you a full list of flash powers that you can set the, the SP400 to. So of course full power and then the weakest setting, 1 128th power. And then you just take a picture, you know, that's what you get. Let's do a quick full power shot to show the difference. So right now I have the D600, SB400 in manual mode. We've got 160th of a second, f5.6, and the speed light is at 1 128th power. So, next up, we go back into the settings. Let's do full power. And let's try one in the middle. Have power. I don't know if I were to consider buying it again. It does have that nice mobility, but it's lacking high speed sync. And when you're shooting verticals a lot, like I do, you know, you're just not going to work out quite that well. But I think there are different options as long as you're not too worried about mobility and filling your camera bag with a large flash you know I'd say look for something else so that was a Nikon SB 400 thanks